Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this think tech commentary, which we are calling Trump is losing it and is not fit for office. Where is Trump on the continuum to dementia? It's not just warnings from Nikki Haley. It's warnings from many others, including many Republicans. We've all seen it, and it's so blatantly ironic that Trump says Biden is losing it, when Trump himself is plainly diagnosable. The problem is more visible now when Trump is speaking in public. It's probably much worse in private. He bulls his way through interactions with those around him, and they're afraid to say anything. Ultimately, some of them will go public, as others before them, but by then it may be too late. He's 77 and will be 78 in June. His condition is getting worse. He himself has talked about the brain function concerns we've all had about him, and it's likely that he is losing ground faster now. We already know that Trump is generally unhinged. When you add these manifestations of dementia to that, and to his Psych 101 narcissism, it's clear that if he somehow gets back into office he will be even more plainly unfit. For that alone, he will be a huge risk to the country. It's not just Trump's confusion about his various political adversaries, like repeatedly confusing Nancy Pelosi for Nikki Haley. It's so many other bizarre confusions and memory lapses we've seen him make at his rallies and other public appearances. These things do not get better, they get worse. Of course, his enablers protect him when they can. We are not likely to see him participate in a debate with Nikki Haley or Joe Biden. That would reveal far too much about his condition. Nor will we see him expose himself to pressing questions in a media interview. That would show us where he is on the curve, and how far he has declined. In the early days of his presidency, some of those around him felt he should be relieved under the 25th Amendment. The 25th Amendment will be even more relevant if Trump gets into office again. But that will require a vote of his cabinet, and he and his enablers will make sure they are all fully loyal and would not do that, even if he is completely and dangerously unfit. We need to watch Trump every day to November. While we are sympathetic with his condition, we hope the media and the public will become more aware of it, and that the country, including at least some of his followers, will see that he is unfit and will avoid voting for him. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this think tech commentary, which we are calling, Trump is losing it and is not fit for office. Aloha.